As mentioned in video one, FreeSpeak 2 is easy to install. But before you do that, there are five things you must know before starting a site survey. First, understand the building structure. Are there architectural interference with RF propagation of signals to and from the transceiver modules, such as rebar reinforced concrete walls, metal studs, or metal objects, including metal coated glass? Second, size of the required coverage area and overlap. Make sure you know exactly how big the coverage areas are and where they overlap. Consider all the possible places where users will go and where they'll congregate. Then strategically position the transceiver modules at the center of each coverage zone. Your transceiver antenna can be 800 feet away from the base station when receiving power through the Ethernet cable. Connect the splitter at 500 feet and you can go another 300 feet before needing local power. Need to go even farther? Just locally power the transceiver for an additional 3,200 feet of coverage. 3. Allocating FreeSpeak 2 belt packs. How many belt packs are needed for this event? Which groups do the users need to talk with? Make sure to have enough for the client and all their production staff. Keep in mind that each 1.9 GHz transceiver supports 5 belt packs or 4 packs if operating in the 2.4 GHz band. So if more than 5 1.9 GHz or 4 2.4 GHz users will be in the same coverage zone at once, you'll want to add another transceiver antenna. You can have up to 10 antennas for each FreeSpeak 2 base station. 4. Understand the workflow of the production. Where will the staff be at each stage of the event? Map the equipment needs based on the workflow of the staff. And finally, be aware of the potential for other wireless devices and other electromagnetic field emitters in the area. If possible, use a handheld spectrum analyzer to observe where live wireless traffic exists in your RF space, because new activity might be there. Now you're ready to conduct a site survey. See you in video 3.